Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and I'm here with a Honey Bee Stamps haul. Um, I received some goodies from the new Honey Bee Stamps release. Also right now for the holiday weekend, they're doing um, extra 20% off their clearance and retiring section. I will link that page below so you can go straight to it and look at like, I, I think they said was it 400 items on clearance? All kinds of stuff on clearance. And remember, at Honeybee Stamps, you can use Afterpay for flex payments or bi-weekly flex payments. It's also similar to the PayPal pay in four, but the PayPal pay in four, some online retailers use it and then others don't. Uh, scrapbook.com doesn't do the Afterpay nor the PayPal paying for. Maybe one day they will. <laughs> that would be nice, right? I believe though, Simon Says does the PayPal paying for. But anyway, back to Honeybee Stamps. Alrighty, let's get started. This is my little haul from the new release and this is my freebie. You spend a hundred, then you get a freebie, freebie stamp and die. And you guys know, I love this little girl. They used to have bees, like a bee with a style, either glasses and doing something. The bee was about this big too. But now they have this character and honestly, I like the character better. I like the little girl better. Let me show you what I did with her, the last one. Yes, Concord and Ninth banner builder along with the little girl. So on a mini slim line. Here, I could have done her. So she's facing that way, it seems, most of the time. Last month, there was one with a banner. I know, I guys, I love, I tell you, I love Honey Bee stamps and I love Trinity stamps. So cute. She is so cute. And actually, not that hard to color. So this is the spring one. I know it's freebies while supply last. So I got my stamp and die set. If you spend, I think, 75, you only get the stamp. If you spend 100, then you get the die, use after pay, four payments of $25. Yeah, <laughs> nice, nice. And now with the sale, you can get even more things. Alrighty, so let's get into what I did get this time. The garden set, my favorite flower stamp, and it has all these wonderful, actually this would have been better for spring, but you know, with COVID, everything has been kind of pushed back a certain way. So if friends wear flowers, I would pick you, but this can be used year round anyway. Take time to stop and smell the flowers. And because I do have florals going on, I could have used it for this. Take time to smell the flowers. That could have been here. I could have used that also for this card with the flower right here, stamp that sentiment. So this floral sentiment can be anywhere. I could have stamped it here and then on the inside, done the happy birthday, etc. Or do the happy birthday here and then put you're my favorite flower, you make my heart blossom and then write the sentiment. So this is actually a very nice all year round stamp set. And does it go with this? Of course it does. And you also get little words here. This now is the coordinating die that cuts around the words, which is super, super, super nice. I love that about honeybee stamps and trinity stamps. And if you notice too, you don't have to be clipping any dies here. That's nice. So that is the stamp set. Next up, crafty, one of their buzzwords. Now you could do crafty by itself here. Just get this. If the budget is tight, skip this. Just use the word crafty. This is big enough to apply. Let's go with the biggest shadow. Three and three quarter by two. This is big enough to use on um, your scrapbooking layouts, your mini albums, your journal, etc. Anything where you'd want the word crafty and it is called crafty buzzword. So this is the word crafty here and then the layer and then the outer layer. So you're getting double double matting with that. You can, a lot of people do a combination of cardstock and then vellum or, you know, um, cardstock, cardstock, vellum and layer it up. Here now is the coordinating stamp. So you could also go crafty, heat emboss it and then use this and this. Skip that because you already have it here. That type of thing. You have 
options love an option and then here are all these words to make it to fit with your crafty crafty mail let's get crafty uh, crafty goodness I love the crafty goodness it's great for happy mail and you know cute little things where we make cards for each other etc nice next up okay so I ordered this before I got that um, AliExpress cart <laughs> <laughs> so this came and this is but this is a little different because the the one from aliexpress that one was a uh, memory decks this one is a little bit bigger i'll tell you in a second five inches by uh, three and three quarter this is a flower cart now this one here are the awning and you can do the awning here and then the little bottom part of the awning lots of options here's the wheels there are the flowers super 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 cute examples on honeybee stamps by their design team is called the market cart builder and then so to help you easily make this set to put it together in terms of colors and everything because most of these times with this type of awning you would have opposite colors you know it would be black and white or pink and yellow or whatever your color combination is they came out with the stencil so for both awnings you can customize it so it would be easier here instead of coloring it with your markers or your pencils etc you could do black and pink that'd be pretty on this pink and white um, here too even for the florals and this was not a bad price point market cart builder coordinating stencil cute so I'm gonna definitely play with this don't know when but very soon because this is just too too cute with this with this kind of sizing that would be a good time to use just had to get it out because I just showed you in my scrapbook.com haul the all to new detail blending brush this little small blending brush set comes in this little storage container too. see see those um, brushes this would be perfect for stenciling in here because it's small so if I wanted to do a series of colors on this stencil let's say you wanted to do it rainbow this would help so I will link this below as well um, in the scrapbook.com video I told you guys you could you could order this with the extra 10% um, that's until yeah 4th of July so hopefully I'll have this video up to very soon so you can grab that great little blending brush set that would be that's a prime example of why you would use it I'm using it for floral centers but I would definitely use it here too because it's small and you can be able to control it works like a pen alrighty next up from the new release this is currently sold out I will double check and look and see but I believe it's sold out across the board this is the honeybee stamps cone flower gore just gorgeous I already had laid it out on um, on the magnet I had planned to use it I will I plan to use it with the Alta new um, the floral gradient cardstock I've, I've shown you guys that in in a haul where Alta new you know they have the colors already picked out this is a prime example of when to use something like that and this is under three inches wide so it can fit on that little pad with the different colors for making florals pretty 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 but I will link it below and you can always wait to be notified when it's in stock alrighty moving on so that's the new release now we're going to get into some notables and also maybe some things that are on sale in the sale category and even if it's not on sale maybe just I'm just showing you some things to make you go hmm this this is the snow globe shaker set love this now this is supposed to coordinate like making you know snow globes for winter but there is a project I'm going to do I will do a tutorial for it because I'm working on a banner for my daughter and it's uh, this paper is from Frank Garcia it's a uh, Disney Disney themed as you can see pinks and all that and I'm turning it this way so I use my crop a dial to punch it through 
my We Are Memory Keepers crop -a dial machine. Now, there is a small version, the punch. The difference with that and this, this can go all the way into um, six inches in. So if you have a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and you want it to punch into dead center from the edge, you can do it. The other ones, the little short little hand ones, those are only, you know, have a certain distance. That would work here though, because I'm not that far in. But if I wanted to punch right here, I would need to have a big that. chomper. This is called a big chomper, crocodile big chomper. And so I use that because it's a heavy duty because I had to punch through the foam too. And I made this little shaker and I'm gonna put string through it and make a banner. So I also wanted to, um, I will do a video, a tutorial. I just need to finish up my others and then show you guys how to put it together. But this is the base for that. And this is not a bad price point. And you could use this for anything it is five and a half four and a quarter so this is definitely an a2 size so I had to put the image upside down because it's going to be hanging this way but you could put anything in here and make a shaker I've done this before for you guys I just don't know where my sample is cute all right moving on summer yes I do have my cat scrappiness summer essentials this now is a little bit bigger, flip-flop. Three by one and a quarter. And this coordinates with this set. There, there are matching dies to cut out all the words. I don't believe I have the matching die, but isn't this cute? So you could stamp and then go like this if you wanted to. There's options, but this does fit this. So you could do the flip-flop by itself. It comes with two little bows, or I just love the whole summer thing, okay? And then these, you can fussy cut or get the coordinating die. This is also called Flipping Fabulous. So Flip Flop Builder and Flipping Fabulous for summer. Cute, 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 cute. The cuteness. Next up for summer as well. These are my notables. Hello Summer. I got this from last year. Have I used it yet? No, but... In my mind, I'm going to use this. <laughs> this is adorable. See this, I can fit with critters and all of that. Now, here with this set, I have to stamp it and color it. With the one from Cat Scrappiness, that's just paper piecing. And her set, I am going to link her set below. And she does have 15% going right now. So um, you can also check that out. I like both of them. One is all dies and paper piecing. Bigger, this is smaller, and this is coloring, and I can add this with critters. Both of them can be added with critters, but that one, the scaling is just a little bit bigger. I hope I'm making sense. So they're like the same, but different. Cute, 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 cute. So this is Hello Summer stamp and coordinating die. Then I get to also have a title, and it cuts it out, cuts around it. Beautiful. So I did pull this out to work on something. I just haven't worked on it yet. I'm getting around to it. I know, I know, I know. In the clearance category is this. And I showed you guys this that I bought from scrapbook.com. I don't even know if scrapbook.com still has it. It's Happy B-Day Stamp and Coordinating Die. This is on sale in their sale category with the additional 20. I, it may be sold out now on clearance at scrapbook.com and the price may work out cheaper on honeybee this is great because of look at all that's going on here this is a six by eight photopolymer stamp set hello hello we get the teddy bears we can have this can be coordinated with any other stamp set that little tree stump all these florals too or these little flowers and the snails if you don't like these images you can use critters from any other set you want to just do the bees there you go the branches there is just so much opportunity here look at the balloons so you can do this card without the critters just have you know the presents the balloons and you're done super duper cute and both things are on clearance now at honeybee this is another set i don't believe this is on sale but i'm just showing you what i have love 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 for fall this is the Let's Hang Out. 
you can use the Afterpay to spread this one out. Gorgeous. And you'll see their examples. I'm going to definitely, when I'm getting in my fall mood, oh, you're going to see this come out in a scene building set. This one is one great for scene building, okay? Like how I had the pigs on a farm. Let me show you. I have it right here. <laughs> this is that AliExpress um, sample that I made. I could also do the scarecrow here with my my favorite things barn and my Elizabeth craft flowers. I also have it here where I can color it or paper piece it. It's easier for me to paper piece, but you see what I'm talking about? Options back into this. Yes, yes, options. So this is one that you can take a look at. Um, let's hang out. Stamp and die. Now the die is nice because of how it cuts into it and then it also cuts the words. You could fussy cut, but who? Ooh, this is painful fussy cutting. I don't like painful fussy cutting. Also for fall, nuts about you. Isn't this cute? Look at all these sayings for fall. Then the little squirrels, cute, cute, cute. I do have the coordinating die. Yes, love, 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 love. So this fall, I'm definitely gonna bust out with Let's Hang Out, that scarecrow set and my squirrels next up I've shown you guys this before not sure if this is in the sale category but this is super cute treat yourself why oh yo <laughs> this is so cute oh there you go treat yourself and this is for coffee lovers coffee lover blog hop great cards for you know your um folks at work etc you can make nice birthday card with this because at work of course you're drinking a ton of coffee if you're working from home you can send it to a you know send a little happy mail to your colleague who is also working from home with a little coffee and then you know write your little note in there your private note <laughs> you know what i mean i'm not going to go any further into that <laughs> next up i showed you guys this last year I still am madly in love with the Lovely Layers pine cone. I'm not sure if this is on sale, but I will link it below. If you were interested in it, maybe it is. If it is on sale, what when I'm doing the links, I will put sale. I will go sale and then put it there so you'll know you could get this on sale because this is not bad. I, I doubt it though because that's I don't think they would retire that one. That one is super special. This one, but then anything is possible. When you have 400 items, yeah. This one definitely is in the sale category. I wish I had gotten it in the sale category. Christmas blessings. Look at that. Nice, bold words. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Merry Christmas. Silent night. Holy night. All is calm. All is bright. Christmas blessings. Jesus is the reason for the season. From our family to yours. Now that you can use on a lot of your Christmas cards. Merry Christmas from our family to yours. Yeah, and well, guess what's on sale in the sale category? Coordinating die right here. That's for the from our family to yours. That alone would make me buy this stamp set because this can go with all my dies. I could have my big, here's an example. <laughs> I have it right here. I could have my big cat scrappiness Merry Christmas, okay? So let's say, yeah. Yeah, let's, yeah, let's go like this. Merry Christmas from our family to yours right there. Cute, cute, cute. You could do Merry Christmas and then on the inside from our family. To, that alone, I didn't even see that. I was going for the silent nights. That alone makes this whole set worth it. And Christmas blessings, both on clearance. Get that extra 20. Yes, good one, good one. Next up, in the clearance category, I bought this on clearance at scrapbook.com. Well, Honey Bee also has it. This is the Woodland Winter Animals. Now this, look at the options. You get trees. These trees can go with everything. Mailbox. And at the what they have it on clearance as is like, have I, I don't see the mailbox though. Do I see a mailbox die? I don't see a mailbox. Yes, there it is, the mailbox die. Yeah, they have a coordinating die for everything and guess what? You don't have to cut it. So this is now on sale and then add that extra 20. Happy, happy, look at all the options. You don't like, I'm not too fond of that bear. I'd use this, 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 
options. Use what you want, skip what you, skip what you don't like. Cute. Lastly, for your consideration, Santa's Village. This little six by eight stamp set, which is a big stamp set, as you can see, fully loaded. When I saw the samples of this, and I also watched a few videos on this, I was, it was, it came out from last year. I just got this recently. <laughs> oh gosh, you just don't know, because this is not, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to kind of do the spread thing to get it. But what's great about this, with those houses at that size and the land, you can do perspective in your scene building. These can be in the background, Santa up in the front, and it looks, it gives your cards depth. That's what's great about this. If you're not interested in the scene building part or scene building is not, you know, not your thing, then you have the sleigh, you have Santa, you have Mrs. Santa, you got the elves, look at all those presents. I mean, just options. You can just do the snowman by himself. Look at that, texture right there, that's texture. Stamp your texture, lamp post. This, I don't think this is in the sale category, but this is an option for you to take a look at. And it's not on sale at scrapbook.com either, but you can do the after pay spread. I just wanted to show you because for Christmas in July, this was one of the ones that I wanted to pull out and definitely play with. And it, I could make about four or five cards with just this, different too, depending on how I do it. I, I mean, I think those sample I saw was pretty much everything doing it like a big long slim line with everything on it but you don't have to do it that way cute right that's it for my honey bee stamps haul if you are interested in preparing to maybe make yourself some banners for your either your craft room or for your kids this is a great little set I like I said I'm working on it there will be a tutorial for this to make a shaker and you don't even have to make it a shaker you could just make it flat and punch holes and then do it that way too and if you want to do a name you could use your electronic die cut machine you know to get a big s like if I wanted to spell out Suzanne I would do a big s u z a and just run the whole thing and have it as a banner that's cute birthday that would be great to make for like a, you know, birthday banner thing. Cute. Shaker, even better. Even better. Love this. Love this. So that's coming. And then also check out all their new stuff. The crafty. And I'm sure you can also get to the point of getting the freebie. <laughs> very easily. Very easily. Just spread out the payments with Afterpay. Alrighty, crafters. Until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.